Hi, my name is Mark Gatter from tunnelvisionltd.co.uk, and thank you for checking out these videos on Adobe InDesign CC, the best layout program ever. If you like the video, then please do check out my website, tunnelvisionltd.co.uk or .com, and on the homepage you'll find a link to the complete course list either on Udemy or Skillshare. I, of course, invite you to sign up. And if you like the course, please tell me. And if you've got a question, please contact me and tell me. I will respond. If you've got an idea about something else that you'd like to see a video about, and you tell me and I make a video, I will send you a free coupon to my videos on Udemy or Skillshare. So please check it out. What have you got to lose? Setting up tabs in InDesign is one of those things that seems to drive people nuts. So I've got an example here that I hope will help clarify the situation a little bit. Here we've got two examples of some text. I'm in Print Preview. You can't see any of the guides. So first I'm going to press W to come out of Print Preview. And then I'm going to go to the Type menu and down to Show Hidden Characters. Now whenever you're working in tabs, I recommend that you turn on Hidden Characters. Because now you can see at the end of each line there's this sort of backwards looking P. That signifies the end of a paragraph. And between each of these, we've got a whole series of dots. Each dot is a space. So for this chunk of type, somebody has tried to turn it into what looks like tabs using the spacebar. And the result is inaccurate. You can see things don't line up perfectly. So what you want to do if you get an example of text like this, and I'm going to zoom in, Command, Control, and Spacebar, is you want to replace all of the spaces with single tab commands like this. To do that, you get the Type tool, and it's a little bit tedious, but hey, it's worth doing. You highlight all the spaces, and while they're highlighted, press the Tab key once. And you've got to go through and do that, unfortunately. Now let's have a look at this one. First thing is you've got to highlight all of the text that you want to affect with tabs. I don't need to bother with the heading, but the rest of it, yes. Then you go to the Type menu, and you click on Tabs. And Tabs usually has a pretty good idea of the width of column that you're working with. Sometimes not, but mostly it does. There's a ruler, and above it there's a white space. Then over here on the left you've got four tab markers. Left aligned, centered, right aligned, a line on a decimal point. This will show you the position of the tab marker, and leader I'll show you in a second. So if you click in the white space above the ruler and just hold the mouse down, the line that drops down through your copy is telling you where it's going to line up this first column of stuff. So if I let go, there we are. Now I'm going to move along and do it again. I'll we'll have the second one about here, and the third one about here, and the fourth one about here. Now these three center columns would be better off if they were centered rather than aligned to the left. So I can select the tab marker, and while it's selected, click on the second marker up here, that's centered, and it moves it. If I don't like the position, I can adjust it. Then I'll do this one the same way, centered, and I'll do this one the same way, centered, and now I can move that one to the left a little bit, and I'd say I'm done. Tabs are actually pretty easy. Main thing to remember, don't get flustered. Carry on to the end of the operation because it may all just suddenly fall into place at the last second. Another thing, if you want to edit the position of the tab markers, you've got to highlight the whole chunk of text again. If you only highlight a bit of it, you're going to end up with what I call ghost tab markers up here. They're in gray and they only format a line or two because that's all you had highlighted when you changed things. Now I'm going to show you about the leader. I'll bring this column over to the right a little bit more. And if you've got a tab command selected and you enter some characters into the leader window, those characters will run up to that tab marker. So I'm going to put in a space and a full stop, and then I'm going to press the tab key. And there they are. That's a leader. So tabs really aren't that difficult. you just got to keep your head. So I hope that video was really useful to you, and please do let me know what you think. You can contact me through my website at www.tunnelvisionltd.co.uk. Please do. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.